Milliken. Hello. Thank you. It's nice. It's nice to be here. It's lovely to be here. It's nice just to be somewhere where there's people because I live on my own. Um, but I live in a slightly prostitute area of Manchester in England. I say prostitute because then if it's got a Y on the end, it sounds nicer, doesn't it? Ah, oh, prostitute. <laughs> That's at least how the estate agent sold it to me. <laughs> but I was walking home the other day and it was broad daylight and I walked past a woman who was quite clearly a prostitute and she gave me a look and women can read looks, can't we? She gave me a look and the look said, get off my patch. <laughs> and I was thrilled. <laughs> she thinks I could sell this. <laughs> but I sometimes get a bit lonely and I think I could do with an animal. I think a pet would be nice. If I could have any animal, I'd probably have a cat. But I can't have a cat because my boyfriend's allergic to cats. So I can't have a cat. Shall we split up? <laughs> Most people don't have something to look forward to at the end of a relationship. <laughs> I oh, can't wait till he starts fucking other women. <laughs> After the pet shop, sod off. <laughs> but if I did get an animal, I'd have to be careful, because whenever I had animals as a child, I always loved them a little bit too much. I've got a few in. <laughs> it's a name for people like me. It's a hamster squeezer. <laughs> mm, love him so much. Look at his little face. <laughs> Have you ever stroked a dog so hard you could see the whites of its eyes? <laughs> and then when you stroke along its back, its little back legs buckle because of the pressure. <laughs> I do worry about my boyfriend. Because I love him so much. <laughs> love him so much! <laughs> <laughs> Look at his little face! <laughs> But uh, I'll leave you with this. Um, I don't. I, I quite like sort of thinking about the future. I was talking to my boyfriend recently because I like. I don't like Christmas, but I like New Year. I like New Year in that you, you can say no matter what my year was like last year, good or bad, I can draw a line under it and go. Doesn't matter. Clean slate. I like the positivity of that. And with that in mind, I said to my boyfriend in the middle of January, you know, being together for four years, I think it's about time we started talking about the future. And that's what I expected from him. Just oh God. I thought he was going to run for the hills and he didn't. He just smiled at me. He just beamed. And I thought, that's quite touching, actually. He really wants to spend his future with me. Yay. <laughs> and I said, are you sure you're all right about talking about the future? And he went, what, like flying cars and that? <laughs> You'll be lovely. I've been Sarah Milliken. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>